Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and on my channel I do refashioning of old or new clothing. I also do sewing techniques and I will show you projects that I have designed, patterned and also sewn. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell so you receive notifications of when I upload. Now, I have changed this format a little bit. On Fridays or Saturdays, I usually do my outfits of the week, but I'm changing that a little bit. And the reason for that is that I want to encourage you to become luxury sewingistas, sewing people who make beautiful garments and it's almost like that doesn't look homemade. That is what I want you to achieve with your sewing projects. Like my garments that I wear, they are designer, they are expensive, they are one of a kind. You will not see this top anywhere else in the world. And that is what I like about what I do. It allows me to be creative as much as I possibly can, push my creativity in all sorts of directions. And that is what I want to share with you now with this new format. So I'll only be showing you one outfit um, per week and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the techniques that I've used, why it doesn't look as though it's homemade, and you know, showing you my design talents and also my pattern drafting um, talents as well. And you can ask any questions within the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Remember, I'm here to make sure that you um, are getting the advice, encouragement and inspiration and motivation to sew for yourself, for your friends, or even if you're thinking of setting up your own business. So now that I've said all of that, I'll get on with the outfit. So from head to toe, um, yeah, my hair. Um, you know, I love to experiment with my hair as well, as well as my coat and everything else. I'm just a creative person, so um, my hair is, I did them in twist last night, it's what, is referred to as shiny bumps and I just pulled them out this morning and it's like this looks so cute so I decided uh, yeah I will wear my hair like this today I have done this before a couple of times and um, yeah I mean, my hair looks really short and I don't mind that my hair's you know roughly about there and yeah it looks really cute I do like it it's very bouncy very bouncy but I have to work on the back though do you want to have a look? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just have to work on <laughs> the back somehow. But well, the front looks good. <laughs> I'm happy with the front, but I don't mind the back. I, I, the, the thing is about when you are a creative person and if you do receive any kind of um, not so constructive comments, um, as long as you are knowing that you're in an experimental stage of whatever it is you're doing with your aesthetic self, it's fine, don't worry about it, you know, really just don't worry about it. And that's always been my approach um, today. I mean, <laughs> my husband told me that I look like um, Michael Jackson because of the shoes I'm wearing, which I'll show you in a minute. It's like, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun though trying to understand um, other people's perception of how you dress. I mean, fashion, as you all know, is such a fascinating, fascinating concept about how we adorn ourselves with fabrics and so and so. Anyway, so the top um, is, it is a top and a pair of pants and they both incorporate sewing machine techniques and also hand sewing techniques. And hand sewing techniques is what helps to make your garments a luxury item, a designer item. And I've always done it. I can't honestly say whether I have, I am a lover of hand sewing techniques, but I understand the benefits of hand sewing techniques. And my mother made sure that, yeah, that I understood the benefits of them. And I totally, totally agree with her making sure that I most of my clothing that I was making when I was younger were hand sewn and I do understand the whole concept of hand sewing and machines cannot do everything when you think about it to achieve the beauty within sewing. So the top is a fitted sleeve with a scoop neckline. The scoop neckline is a bit experimental but I'll come to that in a moment. The sleeves, good 
gorgeous. So towards the end, we've got this kind of like bell shape or flutter kind of seat that's happening here. And if I show you the inside, you can see, and it is just cut. There's no finish to that at all. Um, because it's a cotton jersey, um, it won't fray and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I didn't, didn't, didn't want to do any turning to it whatsoever and I also didn't want to double it as well. It's, it was just too much. I just, I just like the way it just flops. And I think if you doubled it with this, it wouldn't have the same floppiness to it. There'll be a little bit more density. And the way I finished this is that here you have the sleeve and there's a little bit of a lip here. So this is coming from under the sleeve and that adds to the, um, the fashion detailing to it rather than sewn onto the end of it. Um, that helps with it staying a little bit more neater and a, a, a lot more a aesthetic look to it. And um, so it looks a little bit more professional. So that is my sleeve and this is the other one. And I've got a huge ring here as well. So that helps to balance out the sleeve. So for the neckline, the neckline is a bit more experimental. And what I mean by that is the fact that it has a facing, which I'll just pull out and show you. So this is facing and the interfacing is gray, but the interfacing is actually a woven interfacing. It's not a knit, a knit um, facing it. And the reason why I did that is that I wanted the neckline to not really sit onto my body like this. I wanted it to stand away a little bit. So I'm experimenting a little bit with, with my clothing. And as I explained with each of my outfits that I will be showing you in this format, um, why I do things. And it doesn't bother me about the fact that someone may say to me, I thought you said that you were good at sewing or whatever and your neckline is not lying flat. I know why it's not lying flat, because I know I'm experimenting. And yeah, so I just wanted it to come stand away a little bit. And it has had that effect. It has. So if I stand slightly to get this out of the way, I'll explain that in a minute. You can see it doesn't look like that. So I know that whenever I wanted to design another top, this, I can always refer to this and see how it stitched on the stitching that I used on it in order to achieve that effect. So yeah, so that's the neckline. I'll show you the back as well. And it is, yeah, it's semi-fitted. It's not that close to my body. And the choker, just having fun. Absolute fun. I think it's so cute. So yeah, it's just making sure I use all my fabrics. You know, these scraps of fabrics. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd have a bit of fun and make this little choker that goes with it. And sometimes I wear it, I have worn it with a, a silver necklace. Um, um, but yeah, I do tend to wear it with this um, choker at the same time. I haven't put a finish onto the uh, fastening, which I need to do. So I've been a bit lazy. And I think it's just because I didn't have um, a fastening at the time when I wanted to wear this. So yeah, um, let's see. That's it, and the hemline of the top is also hand sewn. So I'll bring the camera down so you can have a good look. Okay, now you can see my sleeves, and it's oh, I just love these sleeves. They're just so gorgeous. Okay, so the pants are a linen, and they're white and. You may know that working with white fabric, and especially this is medium weight fabric, that when you are lining the inside, well, it isn't lined, but I've got pockets at the front, hip pockets, uh, a front, uh, front fly, a fly front fastening, and I've got double welts, or even known as jetty pockets at the back. And as you can see, that I've kind of played around with the shaping of the pocket, the word square, so I made them rounded sort of thing. And yeah, just having fun. Because I knew you'll see the pockets, um, the pocket lining because of the fabric. And yeah, and I, I do have quite a few 
white pants and a hat made them without pockets and you know it does distract a little bit but it's about having fun with it as well because you know that's the effect it's going to have when you're working with fine fabric in this manner and it's just a straight leg pants and these are my shoes silver shoes <laughs> Michael Jackson excuse. <laughs> um, so yeah, which really goes well with my accessories because I'm wearing silver a ring and also earrings and my sunglasses as well. And I will be teaming it with this bag, which is the same color as my nail polish. It's really an excellent match. And it's not very often you see me with, with nail polish. I do like nail polish, but I don't like it when it gets chipped. Like if it gets chipped today, <laughs> it will be removed. <laughs> so there we have it. So this is how I would wear my glasses. Get my hair out of the way. And yeah, that's me. I've got a picture here so you can see the full look of me, my bag, my nail polish. So if you have any comments, put them below. Um, I will keep on doing this type of video because I think it's a lot more beneficial to you to know the kind of techniques to improve your sewing so that your sewing becomes more luxury, more designer, more expensive, using quality fabrics, etc. Now I'll also put um, links to the techniques that I've used in both of my items that I'm wearing. And if you, like I said, want to make any comments, please do so. And remember, do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications. And I will see you next time.